Hey guys, Rachel from A Good Feeling Dog Training here. So I did do a part one muzzle training video, but I wanted to do a follow up. Um, I know that sometimes the initial stages go well and then all of a sudden the dog is like trying to get it off. So I wanna give you some ideas for that. So um, in, the, in the initial video, I showed you how to shape your dog's interaction with it. So any interaction with it, you're marking and rewarding. And we want our dogs to have happy feelings about the muzzle. So wait, wait. Yes. So Waylon already has happy feelings about the muzzle. He's happy to stick his face in. <laughs> yes. Good job. He's happy. He's happy to eat food out of it. So now I'm ready to move to the next step. Yes. Okay. So if you're at this point, your, your dog is comfortable sticking their face in and maintaining it, then you can start to introduce um, clipping it on. And this is an older mo model of the muzzle. The newer models have clips instead of the hook and eye. Yes. So I get it on him and now I'm just focusing on duration of time where he's comfortable wearing it. Yes. And I'm just occasionally reaching it and feeding. Yes. And no major discomfort, right? He's happy just to kind of hang out there. Yes. Okay, so he's comfortable wearing it, so now I'm gonna ask for some more behaviors with it on. Can you spin? Yes. And the goal here is just to normalize the muzzle as much as possible. Just. Yes. Good job, touch. Yes, very good. So he's just getting used to getting cookies through the muzzle touch. Yes. Good job, you so pretty. Yes, good job. Nice. Okay, so now he's comfortable uh, wearing it for a, a good duration of time. He's happy to do his tricks on it. So now I'm gonna focus on him wearing it and just kind of hanging out and doing nothing. So I wanna focus on the dog being comfortable wearing it when they're in motion, they're getting cookies, they're doing some training, but I also want them to get comfortable just wearing it when they're just kind of chilling. Again, just to normalize the muzzle as much as possible so that wearing it doesn't have to be any big deal. Okay, so an easy way to work on them when wearing the muzzle and just doing nothing is just to ask them to station on the bed. So this is the behavior that Waylon already has. It's pretty strong. He understands to go to the bed and just hang out there. So now all I'm doing is just adding in the muzzle aspect of it. And you can see from his body language, right? Like he's not terribly worried that the muzzle is on. He's just kind of hanging out with it on. So again, he's just kind of relaxing, which is exactly what I'm looking for. And then I'll take off and give him a break. Okay. It's super good. Oh, I got you. Yeah, you can All right, guys. So something else that is super handy and helpful for muzzle training is something that the dog can lick out of. So this is just a baby food pouch that I put some blended cream cheese and tuna into. Um, I do have a blog post about this called um, Do It Yourself High Value Rewards that kind of gives you some more in insight into this, but something lickable is really nice when you're doing muzzle training so that as soon as they stick your, their face in, you can reach in and feed. Yes. Right, so it's super easy just to reach in and deliver lots of lickable goodness. Nice. Yes, and you can reach in. 
So I'm feeding through this bottom hole in the muzzle, right? So I'm reaching in and feeding right through there. So I try not to feed through this one because then I think it gets funny because they're like looking up for it. So feed through this lower one. Nicely done, my friend. 